With today's arguments before the Supreme Court about health care reform, we wanted to tell you a little more about John Roberts, the Chief Justice of the United States. Of all the top officials in government, you see and hear the least from him. But it is Roberts who will steer this landmark case and help decide the limits of federal power in our lives. Roberts was nominated to be Chief Justice in 2005 by President Bush. He's the youngest man to get the job in over 200 years. He's 57 and appointed for life, so the chief, as he's known, may sit at the center of the court for a very long time. Chris Bartolomucci knows him well. He worked with Roberts in a law firm and has since argued a case before him. The Chief Justice has what kind of intellect? First rate. Uh, I think he's the most brilliant attorney of, of his generation. And his gift is to take a very, very complicated legal issue, boil it down to its essence, and frame the issue in a way that makes his argument seem uh, almost inescapable. Growing up in Indiana, Roberts was the smartest kid in class. He has a history degree from Harvard with top honors and a law degree from Harvard with high honors. Roberts has a conservative view of the role of a judge. He believes in leaving legislating to the Congress, and he said this in his confirmation hearing. Judges are like umpires. Umpires don't make the rules, they apply them. Attorney David Boyce has argued before the chief. When you look at the tenure of Chief Justice Roberts, what has this court been known for? I think it's been known for conservatism, not entirely. Uh, but I think in general it has moved the, the law in a conservative direction. But I think it has largely done that incrementally. Cautious is a word that you hear often when people describe Roberts. Cautious and a stickler for rules. Well, the Chief Justice is not only a brilliant judge, but he's a regular person. Uh, he's got a family, he's the kind of person who would talk sports with you, and he enjoys a round of golf. You play golf with him? There was a time when, when we played together with some frequency. You can judge a lot about a man on a golf course. Tell me, tell I, me a I story. Think that's true. Well, he's a very good golfer. I will tell you that uh, he's a, a, a stickler for the rules of golf. Uh, and the, he relaxes that only when it comes to the first tee. He will permit a, a first ball mulligan and none after that. Just the one? Just the one. In 2005, 22 senators voted against confirming John Roberts, one of them was Barack Obama.